In this second lesson, we want to talk about the anatomy or parts of the bungus. These are the features that the bungu has. First is the drum head. Several years ago, drums were made primarily from animal skin. And many still use that in Africa in particular. But nowadays, they are either made of animal skin or synthetic material. It was in 1957 that the Remo company first introduced the synthetic. And since then, it became the choice of many players across the globe because of the many factors, including the high pitch and the durability. The drum head has sizes six and seven. For kids, it's around size five and four. This is the drum head. The second one is the rim. This is the rim, or it's also called the hoop. This is the grip for the drum head on which pressure is made. And there are three types. There's one which is no rim. There's a kind of bongo that has no rim. This was the introduction from which the present bongo was developed. We have a single rim, which is what I have. This is the rim. And we have a double rim. It has another rim like that. Yeah. So you may want to ask, what is the difference between the single and the double? With the double rim, you can have the highest level of pitch you desire. You can tune to the highest level you want, which the dissatis which the single rim doesn't offer. There's a level that the single rim cannot attain. Now we have the wood. This is the wood. This drum is made of wood. It is called shell. Shell of the bongos. There are two types of shell. There's a fiber and there's a wood. The wood is weather sensitive, which means that it might suffer slight structural changes from extreme humidity or weather. When you are in a place that is very cold, it can affect the sound of the one made with wood. With fiber, the nice thing about the fiber is that it has a bright sound for live performances. It's not weather sensitive, and they are lighter to carry than the wood. Now let's talk about the bridge or center block. This is the bridge or center block. Like I explained in the introduction, the bunko were independent drums, single drums. What they've done now is to bridge two drums together. That's why it's called the bridge. It marries the two drums, the macho and the embra together. Now we have the log. This is the log. What is the function of the log? Log is like a stem attached to the rim to create pressure. We have the bearing edge. There's the bearing edge. And we have the knot. These are the knots. Each bongo, bongo rather, has four knots on each of the drum. The one that is double rim also has four. Now that we have learned the structure and parts of the bongo, let's do a quick recap before going to the next lesson. You know, we talked about the drum head, either made of animal skin or synthetic. We talked about the rim. We said there's no rim, single rim, and the double rim. We also talked about the shell. It can either be made of wood or fiber. Then we talked about the bridge or the center block, which, br which brings the two drums together as against one one. It makes it easier for the play one player to play the two at the same time. We talked about the log. The log for two rim drum is usually longer. It extends to the base. 
the bearing edge, we talked about it, and we talked about the knot. Knot is that which we use the tuning key or the tuning knot on that creates pressure for the drum. Thank you.